Meanwhile, uh, police have been very, very um, reserved in responding to the protests that have gone on around the country. Let's check in with uh, Los Angeles area reporter Tina Desiree Berg and the L.A. Uh, police uh, department. Um, here's how uh, she is uh, dealt with as rubber bullets are being shot at protesters. We're trying to protect you, the police says. It's unbelievable. Let's go to Arizona in front of the state house. This is unbelievable. This looks like something that you would you would see her, you would see like I don't know like uh, I mean this looks despotic. Terrier Square. They are firing tear gas canisters from the roof of the building. I mean, there's just like mothers and daughters there with signs and they're firing tear gas to clear them. It's going to be a long summer. It's going to be a long summer. And again, like Austin, well, I mean, maybe not necessarily in Arizona, but like this is always, I think, what gives lie to the most, like, oh, like liberal cities. It's like every single police department. It doesn't matter. I mean, one of the worst, uh, one of the worst police departments in the country is in Portland, Oregon. Like, it never matters the political makeup, depending on how the police force acts. Right. They will always do this. Yep. The thin, the thin blue line, regardless of where. Where it's located. I mean, I still remember that old uh, protester, that 78-year-old guy in Buffalo. Yeah, just they just shoved him, yep. cracked his head on the pavement. 